Hey guys, Big Rat 3! Ted here again. Um, before we get to the serious part of the video, because it's going to be a serious video, and I don't like making those, I like being myself, you know, jumping, doing the 3! And, uh, you know, doing all my little mannerisms that people like to uh, talk about. But, uh, uh, two things in this video, the black eye feeling incident, the just a little thing to trademark. Um, I am watching right now uh, Benoit Reed from oh, Summer Symbol 2. No, I have yet to finish it. When I finish it, I will be doing a, a hard truce. So I finish this tonight. I'm going to immediately do a hard truce. So if you guys don't like a fourth video, I'm sorry. But I always do a hard truce immediately after I've seen four. I'm going to do Summer Slam 2000, 2001, 2002, and ROH uh, Stars of Honor. Um, also, just a little side note, look what I got today, baby. A Nintendo 64. Yeah, and I tried it. It does work. I already got ROH No Mercy and WCW NWO Revenge, which I heard are the two best games to play on Nintendo 64. I used to love this game. I used to play it 24-7. Um, and uh, we went... On vacation to a little house that my uh, grandparents own, and they keep a Nintendo 64 there. We went there, and my uncle had sold it, and I was really upset. And I thought it was really cheap; it was only twenty dollars, so bought it and easily great decision. Also, I have my I found my PS2, and I am getting Fire Pro Wrestling. I don't know if I talked about this or not. Okay, let's get to the vid. Trademark. Just quick note. He made a joke. Uh, he said, "All hail heel punk" in Skype. And I said, stop copying True Slayer, lol. And he said, you're the one who should be talking about copying, lol. You copy me all the time. Plug Mania. Uh, the spoof parody video. And uh, I kind of disagreed with him. And I wrote comments. And I never heard from him. And then, because my Skype does this, because it's really weird. Like 20 minutes later, I get his messages to me saying, you basically copied my bash predictions. I thought I was watching mine, especially when I was watching Gale. Uh, the Molina Michelle McCool predictions. Let me just quickly say one, your plug mania. Yes, I did get the idea from you. You plugged 10 guys, I plugged 70. I mean, really, can you compare? Two, the spoof parody video was more of a response because you parodied me and I just wanted to parody you, but I'm not going to spend an entire video parodying one person, so I just added a couple guys in there. I wasn't trying to copy you, it was more of a video response. Third, and this is the most flawed point of all. I never saw your bash predictions. I never did. I'm sorry. I, I saw there were too many bash predictions in my subscription box, and me and you usually think alike, so I think, okay, this guy's just gonna say everything I already know. So I didn't watch your bash predictions vid. Fourth, you steal from me. You see, you said in that vid, he, this is why he thought I was stealing me, because in the Melina McCool thing, he said, I think McCool's going for one reason. Michelle is banging The Undertaker. I said that exact same statement in my vid. Trademark? I'm the one who told you that McCool was banging The Undertaker. You know how I know? Because I know you. You would have just said, Michelle is dating The Undertaker, or they're going to get married, or she's having sex with The Undertaker, or they're together. But you said banging the Undertaker, which is the exact same phrase that I use all the time. And people hear me use it all the time. That's how I know that you probably copied from me. But we're still friends. I don't know if you were joking or not. I sent you messages on Skype, but you didn't respond. And then you went offline. Just to get the point. Okay, let's go to Black Hat Feline, which is the main point of video. Master Bubba, why are you such an asshole? I mean, really. You trashed D and Kristen. And you know what? Those girls know a lot. For only being, uh, for only watching wrestling for D a year, Christian for two years, they know a lot. They do. And they make a lot of points that a lot of guys in the IWC don't make. Their point at the end of WTNA on why TNA is not a good company was beautiful. That they've already gone through the learning phases. I like that point. There are two very, 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 very smart women who know what they're talking about. And you, at first I thought, you were slaying them, okay, they don't know what they're talking about. I'm like, that's not true. And I was just going to write a comment. But then you have to be calling become an asshole. Just criticizing them. Saying how stupid and ugly and how they should go play with the basketball players with their text messages. That was being a real dick of you. Honestly, they did not deserve that. 
You know they didn't. Um, uh, Master Bubba, why would you do that? Why would you do that? That's harsh. What, are you upset that you don't get to talk to your guy friends all the time? I've talked with Dean and Kristen many times on Skype. To me, it's... They, you can't even tell they're women. I mean, they're not like the normal women who, uh... The normal women who I text. Yeah, those. Those women, the women that I talk with, those women, yeah, okay, okay. Maybe they can... Maybe you can't say the right stuff around them. But with these women, they talk about wrestling. They talk about other things. They talk about the ins and outs of the business. What's good, what's bad. How this storyline works, how this one doesn't. And a lot of guys don't know that. So you know what, Master Bubba? You fucking crossed the line. And you know what? I've already unsubscribed from you because I can't take your shit anymore. Your thing with, uh... With, uh, MB Wrestler. Um, I kind of agreed with both of your points. But I thought you were a little harsh. And you know what this? Fuck it. I can't take you anymore. Why the hell would you do that? Dean and Christian are very, very, very smart women. And if you don't think they're smart, fine. Just don't say, I don't think you guys know much about wrestling. Don't insult them. Don't blatantly say, you're ugly. Go play with the basketball players. Get out of this sport. That's harsh. And that shows bad education. Mal educado. For those who don't know how to speak Spanish. Okay, master. Yes, I'm calling you master. The Okay, fine. You don't like it this way? Okay, master. Boo. Boo. Yeah. I liked your vids. And I've been a subscriber for a while now. But you know what? Fuck it. And in my Submania vids, I was gonna plug you. But you know what? Fuck it. Because you're an asshole. You are. You blatantly criticize them. And I'm shocked. Master. Boo boo. You were a dick. Fine, you don't think I'll ignore you? Fine, Master Bubba. You were a dick. You were. You took it way too far. Saying, oh, they're ugly. They should go play with the basketball players with their text messages. I don't know if you're jealous. I don't know if you're envious. Because they're women. And you can't get women. But whatever. You took it too far. I, I don't want to do this because I think it's disrespectful to Black Cat Feline, but I think I kind of have to because a lot of people don't usually like my serious vids. And even though this is only going to be a video response to Master Bubba, Master Boo Boo, um, I'm just going to do this so my subscribers can be happy. Okay, uh, my next question besides the WrestleMania 9 December to December, which I will announce in a few days, because uh, after a few days, I usually get the amount of views. Um, here's my next one. Uh, trademark. And uh, Survivor Series 07 have been fighting over the past five months on this issue. And my next question is, was WrestleMania 20 a good pay-per-view? Not bad, not okay. I'm saying a good, good WrestleMania. A good WrestleMania. Was WrestleMania 20 a good WrestleMania? That is my next question for my little game. I'm Big Red 310. You're a dick, Master Boo Boo. Or copy or trademark. <laughs> Just kidding. Kind of. And uh, WrestleMania 20.